When you've gone to the trouble to create a slideshow and put the work into collecting the photos and adding music, you often want to be able to share the slideshow with all your friends. Here you see we have a slideshow. It's under the slideshow heading and it's called Blossoms. I've selected the slideshow. I'll show you quickly that it plays. All right, now I'm ready to share that with my friends. Well, when I go up to share and click on share in iPhoto, I only have two choices, email and send to iDVD. Well, I don't want to do either one of those. And besides, if I pick mail, it's only going to let me send one photo to someone. But there is a way that you can do this, and it's because of the integration that Apple has built into all its applications. We are actually going to create a movie of the slideshow. We're going to store it on the desktop, and then we're going to open that movie in Apple's other iLife program called iMovie. So let's get started. I'm going to click on Export, and I'm going to pick the size of the movie out of this heads-up display that just appeared. I'm going to pick Large, and I'm not going to click on Automatically Send Slideshow to iTunes. I'm going to leave that unselected, and I'm going to uh, pick Custom Export, and I'm going to save it as Blossoms.movie, and it's going to be a QuickTime movie, and I'm going to save it on the desktop. So I'm going to pick Desktop, and now I click Save and it's beginning to export the slideshow. This will take a little while, so I'm going to come back and show you after we've had some time for it to export and appear on the desktop. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. The downloading's been completed, and now there's a file called blossoms.movie that is sitting in a folder from the desktop. So we are going to go down to the dock and we're going to launch iMovie. iMovie will appear on the screen. And as soon as it's open, we are going to create a new project by clicking on the plus sign. And we want just an ordinary project. We have a new project created called Blossoms in iMovie. And now I'm going to go up under File, and I'm going to select Import, and I'm going to select Movies. And I'm already open in the desktop, and there's our movie. I'm going to select it. And now I'm going to change this selection from Add to Existing Event, and I'm going to change it to Create a New Event, and we'll call it Blossoms. Maybe we better call it Blossom Clip. Nope, Blossom Slideshow, all the better. And now I'm going to say Import. And it's processing the import. We'll come back in just a second when it's done. There, the exporting is done, or the importing is done. Now we have a new event down here on the screen. It's called Blossom Slideshow. It was registered under 2010, September, so we've got the event. Now we're simply going to double-click this whole event, and I'm going to drag it up into... Whoops, I have to close this first. I'm going to drag it up into the project file. Now we've got the project in there. It's a movie, and this time we can go up and pick Share, and now we have the option of sending it to MobileMe. So we've used iMovie as a simple vehicle to send it along to MobileMe. Uh, it really would help to know how and be familiar with iMovie, so that's not all of this is a, a surprise. So I'm going to click on MobileMe Gallery, and it's asking me how do I want to export it. I'm going to export it to be viewable by everyone, and I'm going to hide the movie on my gallery homepage. I'll explain this in another uh, lesson. And it's going to be called Blossom. And we've picked all these different sizes. I think I'll even add a large. And now I'm going to click Publish. And we'll come back in a few minutes because it will take a little while for the publishing to occur. And then we'll show you what it looks like when it gets to uh, MobileMe. 
Okay, we're back again. And as you can see from this prompt here, the project has been published to our MobileMe gallery. And it's telling me that the video can be viewed at this web address. And I can click and go actually watch it right now, or I can tell a friend. So I'm going to tell a friend, and I'm going to make that friend myself. So I'm going to simply type in my email address. And it's telling me about a new movie in MobileMe. Greetings. I just published a new movie to my MobileMe gallery that I'd like to share with you. So I'm going to send that. And now we're going to go over to Mail. And we're going to wait for that message to arrive. We'll be right back again. OK, we've been paused for a few minutes waiting for that email to arrive. And now it has. It's shown up as an email from Kent Morgan to his friend Kent Morgan. And the subject is New Movie in Mobile Me Gallery. So let's open this up. And here's the email. And you'll notice that now there's a highlighted web link to this. So let's click on this and let's go see what came up on Mobile Me. And it should open and begin playing. I'd like to add two thoughts to this video. One is that in future versions of iPhoto and Aperture, I believe they probably will update the uh, ability to be able to export directly to um, MobileMe. Uh, but in the meantime, I think it is helpful to learn how to use iPhoto and to master a little bit of skill with iMovie so that you can perform the workaround that we've just finished doing. Good luck, and I hope this has been helpful.